Hello everyone and welcome back to Prodigal Overland. My name is Brad. If you're new here, welcome. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a 10,000, 11,000 mile review of our Mickey Thompson Baja Legend EXP tires. Um, this is a tire that we've been running on our Gladiator for the last six months or so. Um, we've towed with it, been out to Colorado and back. We've done had it in rain, mud, um, rocks, on road, off road. Yeah, I don't know. We're gonna get going. We're gonna talk about tires. <laughs> So these Mickey Thompsons, these are the 35 inch. Just kind of step back, show you what that looks like here on the Gladiator. So we've on our Gladiator, we've got a the two and a half inch Mopar lift with 35 inch tires. And I'm actually very happy with kind of how it sits in the stance of it. Uh, 35 inches, you can mount them either there's the black side or if we flip around the other side here, there's kind of the white lettering. If you want that look, you can do either. The white lettering kind of looks a little blue initially. So I, I chose to just mount them with a the black out. Um, these tires, like I said, are fairly new. Um, just right up front off the start here, the tread pattern here is, this is actually classified as a hybrid tire. What that means, if you look at the center here, these two sections here is, is organized more like an all-terrain tire. Okay, it's gonna be a little quieter on road. Um, but once we step out to the side shoulders here, we step into more of what would be a, a mud terrain tire. Uh, we've got stone injectors here, um, larger spaces, larger voids in between as compared to these two. We have been running um, the Falcon Wild Peaks, which obviously are, if you don't know, come stock now uh, with the Rubicons. So it's a great tire. Uh, we've had that on our Grand Cherokee for the last several years and they've done very well. But one thing that they don't do awesome at is actually when you get them in mud, uh, they don't really clear the mud well. Um, so knowing that we were going to be wheeling in areas that we're going to have more muddy terrains, I wanted to go with a tire that, that had the ability to clear those, those um, tire voids a little bit better and wouldn't cake up so much. So that's why I went with a hybrid. Um, I didn't really want to go with a full on mud terrain because those tend to be a little bit louder on road. Um, also, sometimes the mud trains were often a little bit heavier than this tire is. I'll get to the weight here in a second. Um, but they also tend to wear down maybe a little bit quicker. But just noise was probably the big factor and, and just how aggressive they were. So hybrid is a nice blend between the two. You get kind of all terrain ish on the road. It's not quite as loud. Um, as a mud terrain, but then when you're out off-road and you air them down, then you do have these aggressive um, lugs that can kind of grip in and, and then also can clear the mud. So that's that's why the hybrid. We did mount these on the stock Rubicon wheels. Uh, I was a little bit concerned about that when we first did it because I wasn't sure if that would work out too well. Um, they're a little narrower than suggested, but uh, we got these put on at Discount Tire. It was within what they thought would work and and i'm like i said i've been very happy with it so far um some nice side lugs on on the side running along here we've got footage of us at, out at windrock with these air down and these side lugs kind of these shoulders really kind of digging in and holding which i was very impressed in uh impressed with so what the tire do so as i'm coming down here normally i would just slip but the side lugs on these are actually I'll slip and they'll catch and I'll go a little bit more and they'll catch, which is interesting. I've not had a tire be able to do that before. These Mickey Thompsons are made in the United States, which was another thing that I was really happy about. Um, we have rotated, I've rotated them once in that 10,000 miles. There was a little bit wear going on here. Um, one of the things that I do like these a little bit more than the Falcon Wild Peaks, and 
maybe it's going to make me eat my words here, but the Falcon Wild Peak tires in, that we had on our Gladiator, oh my gosh, would they just absorb stones. We live in an area that's got a lot of gravel roads, and they were just constantly picking up stones all throughout. I'll still get them here in this kind of all-terrain side, but not nothing here on the outside. So it really has cut down on how many stones I'm throwing at my vehicle. So I've been a big fan of that. Another thing that really drew me to these tires was the fact that they, I was able to go from a, the 33 inch tires that are stock, the Fal Falcon Wild Peaks that we had on, up to a 35 inch tire. And when I look at the specs online, these are actually, I think about a pound less. So I went up to a 35 and I saved about a pound in tire weight over the stock Falcon Wild Peaks. And the reason for that, I, Mickey Thompson says uh, on their website that, that they have some sort of lightweight new design in the sidewalls or something like that and they were able to shave some weight off. So I wanted to go up in tire size, but I, you know we've got the 3.6 in our Gladiator um, and I was a little bit concerned about that unsprung weight and having too much rotational mass and, and all that. So I wanted to try to stay as close to the stock specs as possible as far as the weight of the tires went. And, and these were able to do it. Um, after we went to the 35s, we did recalibrate uh, the truck so that it knows it's running the 35s. And as far as acceleration, all that, I think it's been been about this the same i haven't noticed any big difference so let's talk about noise noise on road these are fractionally louder than our, our our falcon wild peaks they hum a little bit more when i'm driving highway than than the stock tires that we had on so i wanted to give you guys just an idea of the noise um that these mickey thompson's produce so i'm gonna be quiet and let you guys hear Like I said, they're a little bit, I think they're a little bit louder than um, the, the Falcon Wild Peaks that we have on our Grand Cherokee. I mean, there's a hum there, I can definitely hear it. It's not crazy, I have a soft top Jeep anyway, so <laughs> it's not the quietest cabin, um, but they are a little bit louder, so that, that is something to consider. Um, I want to show you guys here the, the tread depth and, and just kind of how they've held up with some wheeling. So let's get in tight here just to show you some of the tread. For the most part, over 11,000 miles, they've held up well. I do have some areas where there's a little bit of a chunking and, and scraping that has occurred. Uh, let's see if I can find anything else. Not so much on that. One of the reviews I read before we got this was the siping here. Um, they were wondering how well they would do in wet conditions on, you know, it was raining just because they felt like maybe the siping wasn't as deep as it needed to be. They do great in the water. Um, they don't slide at all. I haven't had any issues with hydroplaning or anything like that. So I've been very happy with that. They did great towing. No issues there. Um, like I said, off-road, you've got these stone ejectors. These are these little lines in here that are meant to try to help kick out. I think maybe these are too. I don't, I don't know what that deal is there, but they seem to really sling and clear treads out here um, pretty well off-road, especially once you get those tires spinning. A little straighter, yep. Good now, drop the passenger, good. Straighten out. Straighten out. Yeah, otherwise your, your driver tire is going to come off the wall. There you go. Okay. Good, a little passenger. So, so far I've been very happy with these. One of the issues we had with the, our Falcon Wild Peak tires was um, now I want to clarify that we had the we didn't have light truck tires on the Grand Cherokee. They're just the I think it's two ply sidewalls, and we did have tearing and and would be splitting sidewalls over here. These 
I don't know if you can see here, but that kind of how it's fainted here. I mean, we definitely have rubbed this up against rocks and and no no cuts. I haven't seen any cuts in my sidewalls at all with these, which is, again, I've been very happy with that. So like I said, we had these installed back in May for this is the, these are the light truck uh, LT31570 R17 tires, which is right around a, um, right around a 35 inch, just a little bit shy of a 35 inch. They do have a 50,000 mile warranty on them as far as the tread life. So we're about a fifth of the way into that. Um, and we paid around $343 is what it was around. That's, that is what we paid plus tax and mounting and, and all that. So for four tires, um, all said and done, we were close to, looks like $1,600, $1,500. If you don't count some of the extras we added on as far as the tire warranty and all that. But, um, so far, fingers crossed. I've been very happy with these tires. I do think I prefer them over the Falcon Wild Peaks. Um, like I said, we did have those on the truck. I didn't like how much they were picking up stones and throwing them. It is a good tire, the Falcon Wild Peaks. Um, when we first found them and mounted them on our Grand Cherokee back in 2019, maybe, 20, end of 2018, 2019, it was still kind of the falcon wild peaks were like an under known or they weren't as widely known they weren't coming on on wranglers stock um so they were kind of like an underdog tire that you could really get a good deal on um for like price versus value now i mean everything's gone up but now fast forward to 2022 i mean these are about the same price as your like um ko2s km3s um, so they're not really like the Falcon Wild Peaks aren't really like the huge savings that they used to be. So that kind of too made me want to look around for some other tire options. Um, these Mickey Thompsons are not like a budget friendly. I mean, I guess a super cheap tire, like I said, 300, 350 bucks a tire for 35s. Um, but, but they're a little bit lighter than the Falcon, especially comparably speaking. If I was to go up to a 35 inch tire in the Falcon Wild Peaks or even the KO2s I looked at them um, like th this is a lighter tire for sure which I was again very happy with and and, and they're performing very well so far all right guys there you go there you have it so pros for the Mickey Thompson so far would be um, I think weight you can get these and they're just about just a little bit less than the stock 33s that come with the Rubicon the Falcon Wild Peak tires Big plus there. The hybrid tread, I am a big fan of the hybrid. It's kind of uh, best of both worlds, a little all-terrain, quieter on-road. The mud terrain on the outside is able to kind of work through and clear some of that mud if you guys are out wheeling in muddy conditions. Um, I'm really enjoying having the 35s with a larger sidewall where I can really air down these tires. Um, 15 PSI, 14, 13 PSI, no problem, especially with um, the stock rims, they're a little bit narrower and it really pinches that tire on the wheel, even at low pressures. So I've been a fan of that. Um, so those are all pros. Really the only cons that I would put to this tire at this point is I do, like I said, some of the chunking that I've seen, um, I, I don't feel like I had that as much with the Falcon Wild Peaks and we ran them pretty hard. It, it maybe it's a, a softer rubber, um, they, they perform very well off-road. The other kind of maybe negative is they are a little bit louder than my, my Wild Peaks. Again, I'm not even sure someone else would notice, but when you put mods and you get to hear the sounds in your vehicle and you put things on, you like really pay attention. I think they're they're marginally louder than our than our Falcon Wild Peaks, which makes sense because they it does it's a hybrid, right? So it's not just an all-terrain tire. Um, but all in all, I would recommend this tire. I'm happy with it. We'll update things as, as we go forward, see how they last. So this is the 11,000 mile review. Um, but yeah, that, that's pretty much all I got about these tires. Um, again, thanks so much for watching and we will see you guys again real soon.